recorded. And if you don't like being recorded, you can just go ahead and turn off your camera. Uh, the recording will be made available via YouTube on the ITG808's um, channel. And without further ado, I will turn it over. Thank you so much. Sorry, it kind of, um, you sounded to, you started to sound like a robot a little toward the end, but I, I got the message now. Um, yes, so before I get started, just wanted to say, a, you know, a special thanks to Laurel. Um, I believe she had come to one of my sessions and um, we've just kind of been in contact. And she, when she asked me to present today, I, I jumped at the opportunity. You know, I love sharing about, um, what we've created and what what our vision is and just where we would love to see education go. Um, I also want to say a special thanks to Erica. Um, and Joy, your name wasn't on the thing, but thank you also for being here and just helping um, to facilitate and 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 everything like that. Um, and and thank you to the the sponsors, Augustine Educational Foundation, as well as Sacred Hearts Academy. Um, it, I mean, it's it's people and, and educators and things like this that really um, are transforming professional development. You know, we, I, I, I can't imagine we used to pay like, or I mean, sometimes we still do, but you know, $300 and to go sit in a class like every, however, make a portfolio and all this kind of things where um, we maybe not necessarily needed to know those things but because we we want to level up um especially in the doe i'm just speaking on, on that behalf um you know we had to we had to do those kinds of things and um it's just great to be um, in a space now where we can you know have the options you guys have so many great sessions today i i couldn't believe it and and the fact that it was free like it's it's just amazing that um we can grow together this way and, and, and develop our profession and, and really elevate it. Um, and that's kind of where my passion right now comes from, um, is to elevate and to build our education community, whether we're public school, charter school, private school, or any sector that, you know, that we're teaching. And we, we as professionals, I just feel like have, we need to work together and, and, and we need to really um, take ownership of our of our profession. We really need to build that strength again. We really need to um, work together, collaborate. And so I'm so excited to share with you today about the Hawaii Distance Learning Forum and, and give you a little bit of backstory as well as walk you through, um, as well as um, have you register with us and, and just see all the things that you can do um, with, with the forum and with this platform. So I'll go ahead and um, get started. So, oh, oops. Oh, I clicked. That's what I did. I clicked that. Sorry. Um, so just before I kind of go into to all of it, just kind of want to give you a backstory as well as tell you a little bit about, about a little bit more about myself. So professionally, um, this is my eighth year teaching. Um, in all eight years, I've only taught second grade and I absolutely love it. And I, oh, I always tell people that I think that um, at us as adults, we should definitely be more like second graders. And, and when I say that, um, you know, my second graders are so curious to learn. They, they know they don't know everything. Um, they're not quite sassy yet. Um, they, they are willing to learn. They are willing to put in that work. They're willing to, um, or they're just excited, you know, and especially, oh my gosh, especially this week, we, we got to go back face to face. Um, and it was just so cool to, to, I had them first semester, you know, like online and it, it's just different. Right. And so there, it was just, it was a great week. It's exhausting, but, but a great week. Um, I'm also currently at Kanoilani Elementary School. Um, I've been there for about, this is my third year. Um, at that school, I also wear, a, a, you know, different hats as well as I'm sure a lot of us do. Um, I help lead the AVID um, site team. I, alongside with um, some students um, who are now seventh graders, actually, we started um, a recycling club. So we started Kanoalani Rainbow Recyclers. Um, and this is actually a picture from last February, which seems like so long ago. Um, 
but yeah, this is one of our projects. And I recently just asked to be GLC. Um, and um, yeah, per personally, so it's kind of funny. We, we when I say we, it's my husband and I, we um, launched the Hawaii Distance Learning Forum last year. I can't believe it's like almost been a year um, on April 1st. And then we got married the, the day after. <laughs> um, we have a seven-year-old son together and we're going to be welcoming a daughter in May. So super excited for that too. Um, so, so just lots of, lots of changes and lots of, lots of growth going on um, in this past year. Um, before I move on to, to kind of showing you the, the forum and the platform, I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, you know, so back in March, which I know seems so long ago, um, I just, we were, you know, pushed into to distance learning. We, it was kind of funny because our principal was like, oh yeah, you know, like, we'll be fine. Like, they're not going to shut down. Like, you'll be fine. Enjoy your spring break. And so, of course, like over spring break, it's like, you know, all these the news you have all these media outlets it was just like it was just very overwhelming um and i and then the announcement right we're we're doing distance learning okay what does that mean you know i i i never had to do that i there was no college courses in and i didn't know how to conduct it um, and to kind of give you background too i i came from a school so not Konolani, but i came previously from a school where you know, collaboration just wasn't a thing. We we didn't reach out to teachers and say, "Hey, how are you? How are you doing this?" And we didn't um, really work together, and we didn't plan together, and we didn't really do these things together. And so I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't. I felt like I was the only one who felt like this. I I was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fail!" Like I'm like my poor students. Like oh my gosh, I'm gonna, you know, I, my self-confidence just really went out the window. And um, it, it's hard, you know, and, and I'm sure a lot of us can can kind of um, relate to that, feel, those feelings. And so um, it was really emotional and just, just lots of, you know, lots of tears and lots of frustration and, and lots of just what do I do? Like, do I do, do it? Should I just quit? Like, what do I, you know? And um, it was just through one conversation, one conversation with my best friend, who's also a teacher. She just, and she's like, you know, the alt epitome of like Pinterest teacher. And she reached out to me and she's like, Hey, like, how are you doing this? Like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, we've never done this before. Like, you know, and, and that's where I really saw like collaboration especially now is just so important that networking having that pln the the professional learning network and 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 really coming together like it's like our profession is not a competition you know it's not like oh you do that better oh okay well i don't want to share with you it's not a judgment zone where we feel like oh i i can't share that because i don't i'm not i don't feel you know worthy enough to share that or i don't um want them to say oh, like, you should do it this, you know, it's, it's, if we're teaching our kids that about um, constructive criticism, about collaborating, about all those things, I think that we should model for that as well, um, so really this has kind of just opened my, my eyes to that, and um, I'm so fortunate, um, you know, my husband, he's, he's um, amazing at, he's a digital entrepreneur, and he's just amazing at, um, making websites and, and, and doing all these things. So I told him, I was like, you know, like, could there be a place? Like, could we have like a place that's a platform for just teachers in Hawaii? And I re that was like super important to me to, to keep it in, in Hawaii and to, to, know, to be able to relate to teachers who are home, who are here. You know, we I'm all have a heart right for yeah. teachers who are here. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, he was like, well, what would you want on it? And I was like, I don't know, like, you know, so this was like in the beginning stages. I'm like, I don't know, like, just where teachers can come and like ask questions and answer questions and, and talk to each other. And he was like, yeah, okay. So we, we worked on that for a little while and then we finally launched in April. And um, just from there, it has evolved into so much. And, I, and I, that's what I just can't wait to share with you. 
Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So elevating our education community, again, that's just kind of a, my big, um, not mission, but just my, my like passion. Like I, I saw firsthand how important these relationships are with our colleagues. I saw, you know, the collaboration that was lacking. I saw like, um, and, 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 and not just like maybe from um, grade level to, or not just from like, you know, the colleagues in your grade level, because even that, right, is some, can sometimes be hard, but, you know, within our school and then within our complex, and then now we get, we can network from island to island and stuff. And it, and it's just been such an eye opener. Um, so some topics on, you know, elevating our education community and how um, Hawaii Distance Learning Forum kind of reaches those goals is um, where we're, we set up a platform, a safe environment where, where teachers can share their experiences and, and not just those great things that, you know, are going on in your classroom, but also those times like, you know, to fail forward, right? We, we, we fail sometimes and sometimes lessons, we, it's like, we visualize it in our head going one way and it totally goes a different way or um, something happens or, you know, how can we make it better? And so being able to share those experiences and, and to truly do that, I, I found that vulnerability um, plays a huge part in that. You know, we, I sometimes I think there's like a stigma about being vulnerable. It's like, oh, that, you know, that makes you weak, but it, but in reality, I, I think that that makes you stronger. I think that it takes such a powerful and, and secure, you know, educator to say, you know, I, I really messed up on this. Like, do you guys have any suggestions? Or, you know, why not invite those other voices to say, hey, you know, you did it. I saw you did this way, but um, here, I, I've done it this way before. Or, you know, and, and, and work on that um, collaborative um, aspect of, of, of teaching. Um, another thing is, you know, contributing is being able to um, share with others and contribute to discussions, contribute to the forum questions, contribute um, just like writing a nice comment and supporting each other or liking something. Um, collaborating, again, super huge word, and, and collaborating not just, again, within your grade level, but maybe a, collaborating from school to school complex to complex, um, island to island, like that would be awesome too. Um, and then lastly, which which I really saved the best for last, I feel is that local talent. So being able to have curriculum that highlights what our teachers are doing in the classroom. You know, like, I, I'm gonna say it again, but like public, charter, private school, like what are they doing in their classrooms so that we don't have to turn to different vendors or different um, means of getting curriculum? We can actually have things that make sense to our kids and make sense to us. And, and again, highlighting that local talent because we are all making some, you know, creating um, curriculum every day or are adapting certain things. And um, it, I would just love to be able to, to shine a light on that. Um, and, you know, for, for an example, like sometimes my, my students will take tests and, um, or we'll do a read aloud and it's like about snow. And, and even though they're seven, when I'm 31 and I still haven't seen snow, they're like, well, what does that mean? Like, what do you mean there was a blizzard? What's a blizzard? And and I'm like, oh, you know, like when there's like a really big snowstorm and they're like, no, don't, don't really know that. And so just being able to have that relevant content um, that makes sense to them, that makes sense to us. And, and just, again, enriches the, the learning. I, I am I'm super uh, like excited about that. Um, building our education community. So um, elevating and building, and you might be thinking, oh, they're kind of the same, but but really, um, when we build our education community, you know, it's it's about networking with those teachers, people that I've never met before in my life, and I still haven't. I'm you know, texting with them. I'm saying, hey, what are you doing? I'm 
I'm reaching out to them, I'm asking them questions. Um, and I'm, I'm an introvert by heart. Like I don't really like to, um, re you know, reach out and, and do these things, but, but I've, I've learned that we have to kind of step out of our comfort zones as educators. And I'm sure we all do that in our own different ways, but networking and creating that professional learning network and that group, oh my gosh, can just be so helpful. And, and just, I think the greatest feeling for myself is that just knowing that I'm not alone in, in how I feel. Um, because especially now it can be so lonely. I'm like in my classroom, I don't get to just pop over to my neighbor. I don't get to, you know, to do those things. Um, another thing that we we want to build within the education community is is safety. And that's one of our number one guidelines. I'll show you, I'll show you that in just a minute. But we do go through a verification process. So when you when you sign in and when you log on um, or register, I'm sorry you know, we make sure that you are part of a school, whether it's public charter or private. And that's again, to protect us in our profession as professionals, we don't want um, admin on there, or we don't want, um, you know, random who people who are not teachers on there or anything like that. And so uh, we really make sure to keep it a safe environment. And, and um, yeah. Um, also part of building our education community is, is being able to ask for that help. Um, you know, I, I know personally for myself, I, I struggle with that. Um, so this kind of, it kind of helps when you're not in front of a person asking for help. It's like, I'm behind a screen and I can ask for help. And so, um, it's, it's just those slow steps, that step-by-step step that, that, the like the slow process of getting out of your comfort zone that just really um, has added just so much value to, to my professional development. Um, and then just those relationships, the, ma the maintenance of them and, and the, the start of them, you know, having friends who are teachers who are going through the same things as you, who are maybe feeling the same things as you or, um, or not. And, and being able to share in those experiences and those relationships is, is huge as well. Um, so some ways that, you know, the, the Hawaii Distance Learning Forum elevates our education community is through our, our mission, um, through our about, our activity feed, our forums, uh, how you can contribute and our shared curriculum. And I would love to um, share that with you now. So I'm gonna just, minimize this and go to oops, go to the form. So when you get on and you type in our URL, this is what it looks like. Um, again, we we wanted to keep it, you know, pretty neat and clean and 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 not too much information, not like to overwhelm you as teachers. We already have so much going on. I just wanted um, to tell more through um, graphics and through um, visuals than, than anything. Um, so right now we have about 33 groups. We have 1,182 teacher members and we're one big ohana. Um, we, you know, um, let me see. Okay, so what I first wanted to share with you was, it, again, I, I shared this earlier, but just how much that the Hawaii Distance Learning Forum has evolved. You know, um, when I when we first started, it was just kind of more like a soundboard and it was like, okay, ask a question, get an answer or don't ask and, and just kind of go and lurk and, and see what you can, you know, pull out of there. Or how can you be inspired or how can you, um, you know, adapt it to yourself? And, and since then, which is almost a year ago, um, it's just grown to be so much. So I was asked to kind of sit down one day um, and, 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 sit, and write down, you know, like what, like, what do you want to bring to Hawaii's educators? Like what, what will this platform help them do or help them um, elevate our profession and, and, and just help them become better educators, right? Because that's, that's what we, we want for our future, for the, our kids, right? Um, so if you want, um, you can close your eyes. I just wanted to read this to you um, because it really wholeheartedly 
shows um, where our hearts are and where um, where we want to see this go, you know, see the platform go and, and, and how we want it to, to become a staple in, in our education system. So um, you don't have to close your eyes if you don't want to, but um, I think that it gives a little bit more um, <laughs> of a feeling. So <clears throat> imagine a very large blank canvas, one that stretched the entire span of the Ko'olau Mountains Imagine that canvas was created for and visible only to teachers. Imagine slowly, intentionally, teachers begin to paint their stories, their ideas and ideals on that canvas. They'd come as they are, where they are, and share without fear of judgment from, the, from other teachers, um, I'm sorry, share without fear of judgment from other teachers or those outside of the profession. Imagine if 10,000 teachers told their story on this canvas, how magnificent, chaotic, but beautiful the canvas would be. What we probably find is that every teacher's story is unique, but similar to countless others. We find opportunities for collaboration, learning and growth in ways that were not possible prior. We'd find unity, we'd find strength, we'd find hope. This space, the Hawaii Distance Learning Forum is that canvas. So again, um, just want to reiterate, you know, social media is great. Um, you can make lots of connections that way. But I just feel like there's also a lot of um, judgment from friends who are maybe not in the profession. You know, if there's things that we want to talk about or ask, um, there's friends who are, you know, can't relate to us because they're not a teacher from Hawaii. Um, so being able to have a space um, that acts kind of like social media and just having, but making it intentional social media. So what I mean by that is there is no algorithm. If you like something that someone posts, great. That just goes onto your likes. It's not like it'll push more and more things like that, or it, it'll um, kind of predict your next, your next thing that you like or anything like that. It's fresh. It's in your face. It's whatever's getting posted right there that's what it is, you know, and, and that's something that, um, that I really wanted to focus on, um, you know, because already teachers right now, we don't have a lot of time um, to kind of um, develop professionally, or we don't have a lot of time to be really intentional. So, so the time that we do have, you know, I am so happy that I spend it on here, and I spend it on getting ideas and being inspired and 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 reminding myself to my why and what I'm why am I teaching why am I still in it and and I and I hope that it does it for other teachers as well um so activity fee forms could okay so before I sign in I wanted to just share with you guys too there are ways to um not that one. Oh, let me sign in okay so all right so again a big thing for us was um we wanted a, a space where where teachers could contribute their resources so when you click on to contribute a resource um you can you can contribute anyway it's lessons that you've created um, you can organize it by your grade level or by subject or anything like that. And eventually, once it gets posted, it goes into the shared curriculum. And anyone can be part of the shared curriculum. And you can look for um, projects, you know. So this was posted um, by a friend, Jessica. Um, there's, let me see. Do, do, do. So that was the feed. This is the discussion. So there's Hawaiian studies curriculum, there's SEL curriculum, there's EL curriculum, you know, there's all these types of different curriculums that you can um, publish your work to and share it. And, and it's just such a great feeling, right? Like, oh, I shared it. And now this teacher can benefit from it. And ultimately, these students can benefit from it. And I think that that's huge. Um, Another thing that I wanted to share with you was the forum. So that's kind of where um, 
our ground zero was or our square one was was we had this forum and had different topics and, and different keywords and things like that. And so teachers can come here, they can look up certain topics that they're looking for. There's different tags, um, you know, just lots of things that are that are going on. And and you don't always have to post a question if you're if you know you're not comfortable, but you can definitely just always look through them and and, and again be inspired by that. Um, okay. So I'll just show you guys this real quick. So building our education system. So the ways that we can do that on the forum is through our groups, again, our forums, networking, um, community voice, calendar, ambassadors, and to connect. And so let me share that with you guys as well. So one thing I would definitely want to share with you is members. So, um, you know, again, we have 1,184 members and there are so many different ways that we can connect with them. Another um, way that we protect your safety is that you cannot interact with someone unless they accept you or unless you accept them. Um, so you can look for them by their first name, um, by their school. Like if you really wanna connect with someone at a different school, maybe someone within your complex or, or anything like that, you can see um, from that school, you could do grade levels, you know, so if I wanna, connect with someone in second grade I could just put in two I could search and I would find you know all these second grade teachers um, you can even do by areas of expertise so if you're doing a really great um, media lesson or you're doing an art lesson um, or a stem lesson you know you can click on that and you can find these people um, who could help you with that and you could connect with them um, to connect, you just connect right there. I'm connected to him. Um, and then you can start private messaging. You can see what they're posting, their activity stream and, and, and things like that. Um, I also wanted to show you our community um, calendar. So, whoop, whoop. Um, so this is a way where teachers can also share. You just have to go to submit an event. You know, things that are different PDs that are happening or different um, webinars or different um, maybe challenges or um, contests that are going on that you want to share with other educators. And once you submit it, um, it gets posted um, once it gets approved. And then you can click on the event and you can, you know, either add it to your Google Calendar, you can add it to iCal, there's more information on it, um, websites, things like that. And it's just, a, a, again, just another great way for for teachers to continue to grow. Um, I also wanted to show you guys um, our ambassadors. Um, so our ambassadors, again, are just um, educators who are, are like-minded, who share that same passion about wanting to elevate and build our profession. Um, you can always connect with them as well. You might see some familiar faces um, and they're just passionate about, you know, their, the role that they play in, in education. And I'm super excited um, that they are part of our team. Um, I wanted to show you the activity stream as well. So it, I know it looks very similar again to different social medias um, and, and again, um, that was done intentionally, you know, because um, we want you guys to share. We want you were able to share videos and and pictures and articles and PDFs and 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 things like that, or just ask a question about your day and and you can stream it there and people can like it and comment it on it and and things like that. Um, one big thing too that I wanted to show you is our guidelines, um, which I didn't get to go over yet, but. Um, again, when we kind of, we didn't have this before in the first version, it, again, it's just evolved so much, but we knew that the main thing we wanted to convey is that this is a safe space, that this is for educators in Hawaii, this is for you, this is, you know, for you to talk about whatever's on your mind, um, and so the guidelines kind of go with that, um, intertwine with that, so being supportive, you know, if somebody posts something, just a quick comment, you know, just your words or just a like can can do so much for that other educator, you know, um, to share generously. So, you know, 
it's just such a great feeling to share something, whether it's an experience, um, a resource, um, a problem, a question, and, and getting that feedback back, feedback back, <laughs> um, celebrating each other. So just saying, hey, like, good job, like, can be such a confidence booster, you know, when you're feeling like, oh my gosh, that didn't go well, or, oh, today was a really rough day. I, I know I've had a few of those. Um, just somebody reaching out it, it can just change all of that, you know, um, to be constructive. So um, looking at something and saying, hey, why don't you try it this way? Or, or did you, you know, did you think about it this way? Or I have this resource, do you want to, you know, look at it and adapt it somehow? And, and again, just helping each other out and, and, and really the end goal is, is for the kids. Um, and lastly, um, which is pretty self-explanatory, you know, just don't spam, promote, or troll. Um, this is a safe environment. And if you do that, our moderator will be happy to um, talk to you about that. <laughs> um, because again, just creating that, <coughs> that beautiful safe space for, for our for our professionals. Um, do, do, do. So I talked about connect, calendar, ambassadors. Um, so this is where you would get all your notifications. This is kind of where your private messages are. Um, you can look for things. Um, when you log in or when you register, you know, you can go to your profile and you can already start editing it. So you can add a picture, um, any of your details, things that you want to share, things like that. Um, also on the forum, we have a resources page. So we have, you know, from K to two, three to five, six to eight and nine to 12. And, and not to say that because there's a resource in this um, category of lower elementary does not mean you cannot use it for high school, you know, I would highly suggest just going through them and seeing oh okay and, and 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 being inspired by what you can what you can do with it, you know. Um, a lot of them are things that we might use already in our classroom, some might be new and 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 I think that's the great and amazing thing about sharing sharing those types of things. Um, let me see. Yeah, so that is about um, all I really was so excited to share with you folks. Um, right now, what we can do is, um, I can stop sharing for now. Um, I can take any questions and in the chat box right now too, I would, um, <laughs> I can um, put in the, um, address so that you guys can go ahead and start connecting. You can register. Again, um, I, I just have to verify it on my end. And um, yeah, let me get that in for you while I'm doing that. If there's any questions or um, anything you want me to go over again, I'd be more than happy to do that. I went ahead and put it in for you. Oh, you did. Thank you, friend. Your excitement gets me excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! I um, I I just can't wait to see where where it can go. You know, we we are starting a partnership with Histi, where we you know are trying. We talk to like it's just opened so many doors, and I can't wait to to just see our profession grow and just see that that strength you know because we we deserve it you know oh thank you <laughs> um but yeah if you guys want to take some time to register that would be awesome and i can approve it um or if there's again any questions so erica you know liana Oops, I was muting. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like she knows everybody. Well, her mom used to like, so her, it's kind of funny, but like her mom used to be like small kid time friends with my mom when they lived across the street from each other in Kaliki. So oh it's God. like, yeah, it's like far removed like that. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> oh, man. She's, she's getting married. Oh, congratulations to her. And to you too. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, I had a question. Yeah. Um, 
Is there a lot of, I know, I noticed like there's a lot of elementary school. Is there a lot of high school on there too as well? well? Def, so definitely, like you said, a, a lot of elementary. I think high school teachers, it's, they have a different um, kind of mindset. And, um, you know, they're, I think that they're very um, used to doing things a certain way. So um, we do have Daphne Okunaga, who you, I'm sure you guys have heard of her. She's like an amazing Pro City educator, Pro City High School educator. And she's, she's passionate about getting more high school teachers on too. So um, I hope to see see more, but I think um, just that I, that mind shift that um, you know. Yeah, no, uh, I I just wonder because I do I know like it is a different. I mean, even middle school, elementary, middle school, and high schools, you have to change your mindset, the way your attitude and how you dress. Um, so I, I I'm I'm gonna sign up. I just wanted to know if you. Um, and thank you for doing this, by the way. This is really awesome because a lot of educators that's been educating for years, they still stuck 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So when I came uh, to St. Louis, it was um, dealing with different, you know, mindsets. So this is a really good thing to open up with. Um, I, yeah, no, I agree. And, it, and And not to fault them or anything, because that's kind of how our education system has been right it's like okay you're good at doing this okay do it always that way but I I think with COVID and with distance learning I think it's opened up um such a different outlook of like oh no like you know I'm a lot more intentional about what, what I teach now and like mm -hmm. I was just talking about this morning like the assessments too sometimes the questions on there I just take it out now because I'm like they don't need to to know that so um yeah I I appreciate that thank you yeah, I, I'm, this is a great, I'm, I'm going to try and on my end, push some of the teachers at St. Louis to register, especially in the lower levels. I mean, I know this can benefit, but I mean, I'm not just saying, I'm not focusing this, but I know educators in general, because, um, you know, I have three kids and they all want your education system, girls, uh, two girls and one boy, and it's different in each uh, age um, age grade as well as school. So this is so great to see what works and what doesn't work, especially for brand new educators. Yes. You know, that's a they don't know what to expect. And that's why a lot of people are not open to understand that this, no matter if you've been teaching for 30 years or three years, this COVID is a brand new game changer. Yeah. Like, so you got to open your mind up and be open to new things that you're not used to. And a lot of people are, don't like change as well where there's people who like me that take it as opportunity so thank you for this this is awesome so i just want to say thank you and i am going to register okay um, i will please, approve you please don't think i'm nuts if you see spaz because that's my um former career i was a dj for years cutmaster spaz so um i thought you looked familiar i was like <laughs> yeah so i've uh, at st louis they wanted to give our students a experiential type of learning. I do a um, digital media or media communication. So everything I've learned in the last 30 years, I've um, turned into a curriculum of teaching our gentlemen how to speak well, how yes. to convey and communicate as well as how to use today's uh, technology from, you know, iMovie to the latest, I guess, greatest sound and everything we have so yeah so it's it's awesome. i'm a new teacher <laughs> and stuff like that so i just but a lot of people still know me as spaz so they go hey that's spaz so he's <laughs> a creeper <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you thank you so much anybody else don't let the dj take over the place <laughs> no i guess not <laughs> um right. but yeah er Erica, we could finish a little early if there's sure. no questions or anything. Yeah, sure. Uh, let, I'll go ahead and close out the session then. Um, okay. Thank you guys so much. Again, like from the bottom of my heart, I, again, really love sharing about this and, and just can't wait to see how, it can, how we can transform it all together. And also tell your husband, he's an amazing web designer because I know he designed this. And it's not easy, people. It looks simple, which is less is more. But what he has done to take the social media concept and put it to a website, to a community, it's not easy to do. You know what I mean? So 
tell them a uh, kudos to him because I do know a, a bit about uh, social media and web design right. it's not easy. So he did a really good job. He must be really good at his job. So tell him, Cup Master says, a good job. <laughs> I will tell him that. Thank you so much. I, we like, not to make you feel old, but we definitely grew up listening to you on the radio and stuff. <laughs> but I get that all the time. <laughs> I, I, she's like, uh, I used to listen to you in elementary school. And you know what I mean? She's a high school teacher now. Yeah, so. Hey, don't feel bad in my last session. One of the participants, no, no, the keynote. It was the keynote. One of the participants was like, thank you. You were my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, mahalo, Ashley, and for everyone that participated. Um, yes. We hope that you'll find this session helpful and make some valuable connections and join the forum. Please help us complete the evaluation form. I'm going to put it in the um, chat now. And uh, don't forget, you'll be entered to win one of 20 um, Starbucks gift cards. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and put that now. And then I will stop the recording right after that. Okay. All righty.